Hi, welcome to Mahika Tutorials. I am Mahika Motwani. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can perform database connectivity using Spring Framework. Now, Spring Framework provides different templates to establish the database connectivity and to perform the operations on database. Some of these templates are JDBC template, named parameter, JDBC template, simple JDBC template and so on. We are going to make use of JDBC template to perform the database operations. Now, when we make use of the templates provided by the Spring Framework for database connectivity then in that case we need not to bother about the establishing connection closing connection such activities are handled by the Spring itself so we can concentrate on our business logic and we can just give the queries that are to be fired so let's start by creating a new project we will create our bean employee for which we will perform the different operations like insertion deletion updation etc so first of all let's create a new project so we will sim simply select a new java project and let's say the name of the project is spring jdbc demo okay now we will add the library spring library to our project so we have already created our user library so simply we will add that add library user library and this is the library now since we are going to perform the database connectivity we need to add the mysql connector jar file as well to our class path so for that we will select add external jar and you can go to the place where you have your connector jar file select it and apply ok now we will first start by creating the class employee so here we will give employee and we will put it inside a package so let's say com dot tutorials dot demo now we will give three fields in this employee class so we will take private int id and then we will take one attribute for name so that would be of string type and then we will create one variable for salary as well so here we will take let's say double salary okay and then we will provide the setters and getters so we will generate the getters and setters select all okay so we have created the class employee and we have provided the getters and setters now the next thing that we need to do is we need to create the DAO file that is the file in which we will give the different APIs to to apply the different operations on database like insertion deletion and so on so for that we will create a new class and let the name of this class be employee DAO employee DAO and we will click finish here now here we will provide the different APIs that is the different methods by which we will perform the database operations now as I told you that we need to make use of one of the templates provided by the spring framework to provide the database connectivity so we are going to make use of the JDBC template so here we need to create a reference variable of JDBC template so we will create a reference variable for JDBC JDBC template as using this reference variable we can call the methods to perform the different operations so we need to import this so we will import it from org.springframework.jdbc.core and then we can generate the setter for it as well so we will go to source generate getters and setters and we have to select setters 
ओके नाउ हेयर वी विल गिव द डिफरेंट मेथड्स टू अप्लाई डिफरेंट ऑपरेशंस सो फॉर नाउ वी विल बी कोडिंग ओनली वन मेथड फॉर सेविंग द एम्प्लॉय एंड देन वी विल कीप ऑन एडिंग द डिफरेंट मेथड्स टू अप्लाई डिफरेंट ऑपरेशंस सो हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ मेथड सेव एम्प्लॉय and this method has a return type int which will return the number of rows affected by the insert query so it will take one object which is to be inserted that we will provide from our client code and here what we need to do we need to write the query and then we can use the update method of jdbc template to fire the query so let us first create our query so here we are going to store the query in a string and then our query is insert into i have created a table with the name employee so here i am specifying employee and then using this insert query we can provide the different values which are to be inserted for a particular record so here we need to give the different attributes which are in this object e so here we will give e dot get id that is first fetch the id and then we will concatenate comma and then single quotes as the next value that we are going to insert is of type string so here we need to give single quotes so here we will give next e dot get salad sorry get name and then we need to close the single quotes comma and then the next value that we have to insert is e dot get salary and finally we can close this parenthesis we will concatenate this parenthesis and then we can execute the query by calling the update method of jdbc template which will return us an integer value so what we will do we will here take one integer value let's say result okay and here we can give then jdbc template dot update and then we can pass our string which contains the query as a parameter and then we can return the value of this result variable to the calling method so here we can give return result okay so we are done with the method required to save the employee now in dao class we will add few more methods like update employee delete employee and so on but that we will do later on for now we will have only this one method save employee now in this tutorial we have created this employee class and employee dao class in next tutorial we will perform the configuration in the xml file thank you for watching this tutorial